here we are with Bitcoin and I want to show you let's go back in here um, trading again I'm waiting for it to become more dynamic we have to hit these numbers down here and under um, before it can but short term uh, there's a good chance that we can go all the way back up to maybe this 8600 range before uh, a drop down uh, is most likely it's not likely to get up to here and there's some technical reasons why it could um, but it's not high probability it's in the 40 percent range uh, getting to here, this is closer to the 60% range uh, probability. Um, so this area right here is more likely to occur. Therefore, I have a trade. I had one from 8,100 that goes all the way back up to here. It's about 500 points. So we're going to look from here to get all the way back up to here. It's not in a very big range, but it's a small trade that we have that's counter to our uh, overall shorts. And then our main shorts, we're going to look for over here. Um, so I have trades going in both directions now. And we had one entry that was really good. That was right off the 7,700 area um, near these lows. And then I exited at the, the 8,300 area. Very logical. That's the previous 61.8. It went down to the 123.6. On the extension, one, two, three, four, five and boom. Uh, and then we have the inside range right there which I think I've explained in the last video. The main one, two, this is what you base everything off of. And then you had ge geometry that extended further out. Now we're just meandering around. Go up and then break back down and then um, wait for the, you know, until we get down here there's nothing to really do. This is the value area. Everything above here is just going to be sideways and resistance. Uh, it's not likely to make a move and to make a big run from these levels. Um, so that's what I'm looking for there. Uh, BNB. Uh, now that one, this was the counter trend trade that was to the upside and it's made its move up to the 17, near 1760, 70 area. Uh, we're looking for it to get up to here short term. If this is just a short term trade, my exit point would be right in the six, the above 18 area, or just under the 1830s, and so we're somewhere in this area right here. Um, other than that, you know what I'm looking at longer term. If I want the longer term trade, I'm going to be looking for this to get all the way back up to 24. So you could play it, you know, both ways. Odds are it's likely to go back down to these levels here and even under. Um, so. The exits in the 18 range make sense, and yeah, it's, it looked like it was a good trade, and it's proving itself to be so. Uh, it has good uh, volatility, and uh, we'll see what happens with it next. And that's basically it. There's uh, We're just waiting. Yep, just waiting. Um, hopefully we'll get up to there, and then we'll pump on back down to that 7200 range. And more and more trades, smaller, you know, like 5%, 7.5%. I'm going to go both ways, and I'm going to be closing trades out. And uh, Once the frequency, we get to our dynamic levels, my frequency should increase, so profitability should start expanding. But that's up to the market. It's not up to me. I just follow what it tells me and go from there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week, and... I'll update you for the next next happening that we have. <laughs> All right, have a great week.